Hello, poetry writers. Welcome back for another day of poetry writing. So before I share the teaching point and learning target, we've been spending several weeks drafting poems. That means we are just writing and writing as many poems as we can. The next part of the writing process is called revising. And so today we are going to look at some of our poems and revise. Okay, so let's get started. And I'm going to share with you here the teaching points. Looks like a lot of words. We're going to break it down, so don't worry. Teaching point. Poetry writers revise their writing by... Anyone put a finger up? One. Adding more exact words. You say that. One. Good. Two. Fingers up. Adding more comparisons. Now you say it. Excellent. Th three. Adding more words. Your turn. Three. Good. When I say adding more words, it can be a couple of words, which is a phrase, or it can be more sentences, if any. It's up to you. Learning target. I can revise my poem by adding exact words, comparisons, and more words. Again, the more words can be phrases, which are a couple of words together, or sentences. It's up to you. So, I'm going to show you a poem that I have. It is not a poem that you have seen because I wrote it um, yesterday. But I'm going to show it to you, and then I'm going to show you how I can revise it. And by showing you, I'm hoping that you can use this as a model when you go back to your poems today. So take a look here at my poem. I'm going to read it all the way through first. It's called A Breeze. A slight breeze across my face. A slight breeze across the blanket of water. The sun begins to fade. The breeze fades as the night takes over. Okay, so this poem was inspired by one of my many trips to the beach where I just walk and collect rocks and shells with my son and just enjoy the time. So I'm going to add, revise right now and I'm going to add something. And I'm going to add it here. A slight breeze across my face. And I just want to add a phrase. I'm going to say cool and light. All right, so I'm adding it in, okay? And I'm adding it in, in blue so you can see. So, a slight breeze across my face, cool and light. So these are a couple of words and they can be exact words or a phrase. Either one works. A slight breeze across the blanket of water. Hmm. There's one exact word I want to add. A slight breeze. And underneath, I want to write whispers. I'm going to write that. And that's an exact word because if you think about breezes, they're usually soft. If it's strong, it's wind. So a slight breeze whispers across the blanket of water. Now I'm going to add a comparison. The sun begins to fade like a baby slowly closing its eyes. Okay, so the sun begins to fade like a baby, like a baby slowly closing its eyes. Okay, let's see. The sun begins to fade like a baby slowly closing its eyes. The breeze fades as the night takes over. So you can tell I've added three different parts. So now I'm gonna read the whole thing and I want you to give me a thumbs up if it sounds better, okay? A breeze, a slight breeze across my face, 
cool and light. A slight breeze whispers across the blanket of water. The sun begins to fade like a baby slowly closing its eyes. The breeze fades as the night takes over. Okay? So you can see here that I added more exact words. I added a comparison. And then I just added more words. Okay? Um, I want you to go back today and maybe you only try adding comparisons or maybe you only try revising by adding exact words or maybe just phrases that, that you think might help the reader have a better image and really feel what you're saying. Or if you want to challenge yourself, try doing two of those things or three. It is up to you. I'm going to hold the teaching point up again just in case you want to take a picture so that you have these three ways of revising, okay? And when you are done, don't forget to share your great work with your teachers, take a picture of it and send it to them um, any way that you can, because we wanna celebrate the great writing that you're doing, okay? So give it your best shot. And I want to give everybody a sticker for doing their best work today for you and you and you and you. Good job. And like I say, today and every day, have an awesome day. Do something for you that's going to be fun for you and make your day great. Bye, guys.